Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Jackman from Renew Vitality. We're gonna to talk today a little bit about semaglutide. Semaglutide is basically spearheading a revolution. A revolution in weight loss, in weight management, and in metabolic reconditioning. So what is semaglutide? Let's start with that, right? Semaglutide essentially is a synthetic version of a hormone, a hormone called GLP-1, which we all produce produced in a particular portion of the small intestine. Think of it essentially as fundamentally a satiety hormone, okay? So what it does is it signals a better connection between intestinal tract and the brain to signal to yourself that you've had enough food. It has certain additional metabolic benefits, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit. The whole idea is to recondition that mechanism so that you don't take in more food than you should. We live in an era where we're exposed to a lot of foreign substances, a lot of hormone disruptors, a lot of food additives. All of these things compromise and basically break down your appetite control, right? So how did semaglutide come to be? Actually, as it often has happened with pretty revolutionary medications, semaglutide originally was designed as a diabetic drug for type 2 diabetes, right? So as it often happens, coincidentally or otherwise, they basically realized that diabetics who went on the treatment not only did better from the standpoint of their type 2 diabetes, but also dropped a lot of weight. It continues to be used as a type 2 medication. So people hear diabetes and they think that it's insulin. It has nothing to do with insulin. On the contrary, it's a medication that helps your insulin pathways work more efficiently, right? So number one, you get a better signal to your brain that you're full. So you already sort of lose this added stimulus to consume more food. Number two, it slows down the transit of food through your intestinal tract. So what ends up happening is you consume less food. The food that you do consume travels longer in your intestinal tract or you're full or longer. So not only are you taking in less calories, but you're basically almost re-educating yourself on how to eat properly and how to better sense when you're full or not, okay? So that's sort of the, the mainstay of the mechanism. It is injections, not to panic. They're very small needles done through essentially a Botox needle or an insulin needle. It's designed for weekly dosing, so it's not something that you need to inject yourself on a daily basis. And dosage-wise, we basically go up as necessary. So there are multiple dosing options. We start very low to assess for tolerance within one to two weeks. If that's going well, then we ramp it up. The idea is not, it is with any medication, is not to overdose yourself, but rather to find the ideal dose that gives you ideal benefit. And from that point, we tailor it. There are diabetics who've been on this class of medications for years and years. When we're doing it for the context strictly of weight management uh, or weight loss per se, then obviously we tailor that to the individual, right? So on a very, very gross average, you can expect to lose about a pound, a pound and a half a week or so. Obviously, lifestyle matters. Obviously, all the other things that you do around your lifestyle do matter, right? So the more active you are, always the better. The better food you consume, not just in terms of pure calories, but also in terms of the nature of what you're consuming, makes a big difference. And the idea with semaglutide is basically to potentiate that so that metabolically you put yourself in a perfect, perfect environment to achieve your ideal weight. There are some contraindications, obviously, like with any medications, nothing is ever perfect in absolute. So that's a discussion to have uh, with your physician, clearly, to see if you meet, uh, if you meet criteria or not. Uh, and as I said before, you don't have to be uh, a diabetic for it, right? So this is designed also very much specifically for the purpose of weight management. Just remember, remember that it's never one size fits all, neither in dosage, neither in application, neither in timing of the protocol. Some people need it as a bridge and they'll do it for a six to 12 weeks. Some people need it for much longer, it really all depends, right? Uh, but as I said before, the whole purpose is to really tailor it to the individual. So that's sort of a little bit of a blurb on semaglutide. Feel free to reach out to us if you'd like to hear a little bit more about it, if you'd like some more detail about it, but suffice it to say that semaglutide really truly represents a metabolic revolution.